good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are, if you'll be family. Welcome back to our channel, it's your one and only Adapt Biafra. Thank you, my people, all of you that have been following me up on this channel, and all of you that have subscribed, all of you that have been sharing our videos. Thank you, and may God bless all of you. And please don't forget to put your bell icon on, press the bell beside the red subscribe button so that you get notification whenever I post the videos. Thank you, and you that have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to put your bell icon on. Thank you and God bless you all. So today I'll be talking about what Osibanjo told Nigerians. Osibanjo said that we, the Biafrans, are a threat to Nigerian unity. That the federal government should do everything possible to crush IPOB. That is why they proscribe us a terrorist group. And we are not bothered. They said they will crush us. They are the ones now crushing themselves. They are crushing themselves. This is what happens when you wage war against God's own people. We only ask for our freedom. We are not killing people. We are not raping mothers, daughters. We are not destroying people's farmland. We are not destroying people's crops in the farm. And as Ivan just said that we are threat to their so-called Nigerian unity. You see why we said that Nigeria can never be good? If you people continue letting such leaders... And Nigerians should pray for Fulani hate men that are killing people, committing crimes, that they don't know what they are doing. People that are raping mothers, daughters, killing innocent souls, burning down communities. The people should pray for them that they don't know what they are doing. So we, the beer friends, that just ask only for our freedom. We are threat to their unity. Hmm? The same Osibanjo that went to the US and lied that what is happening in Nigeria is a... Uh, between farmers and the uh, headsmen, that is a uh, farmers and headsmen clash. The same Osibanjo came back to Nigeria the time they killed their funny fellow leader's daughter. He said that the killings in Nigeria is getting out of hand. How can your, your so called Nigeria be good? What Nigerian people? How can your country be good? We are not killing people, we are not raping mothers, we are not raping daughters. So, how are we threats? To your unity. They said they will crush us. They are the ones now crushing themselves. They are the ones now crushing themselves. With their lies and the, the, their greedy and selfish interests. They are the ones now crushing themselves there. We only ask for our freedom. Give us our freedom and we'll go separate ways. They said we are threats to their so-called unity. Full and that they imported from other countries to Nigeria are the ones now Nigerians should pray for that they don't know what they are doing but they knew what they were doing when they imported them to Nigeria hmm? to make good luck Jonathan government or governable to disturb good luck Jonathan uh, government they wanted to use them to, uh, to fight a uh, good luck Jonathan but their plans failed they are the ones now crushing themselves. Hmm. Somebody will just come out and tell me that that man is a pastor. A man that lies with two sides of his mouth. Hmm? The killings in Nigeria is getting out of hand. Why he went to US and said that the kill the it, what is happening in Nigeria is between the headsmen and farmers. This is what happens when you wage war against God's own people. You people will do everything possible to crush us. You people are not the one crushing yourselves. Oh yeah, one Nigerian people, you push to pray for Fulani headsmen that is killing you people there. They don't know what they are doing. So once you people pray for them now, the Osiman just said that the, him and federal government, the rest of them are praying hard for Fulani headsmen because they don't know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So you people should join hands too. So they will repent. So they will stop killing people because they don't know what they are doing. Yes. They don't know what they are doing. So you people should pray for them very hard hmm? while they continue preparing to come crush us they are still preparing no? they are not sure but they will first of all after crushing themselves uh -huh, then we'll know if they can crush us or not hmm? because for now they are still crushing themselves there 
So we are still waiting for them to come crush us. They will do everything possible to crush people asking for freedom. People that are not with any arms. People that don't have guns, AK-47 or any arm to kill people. They only came out to ask for their freedom. You people will do everything possible to crush them. People with AK-47. People destroying people's farmland with their cattle. Raping mothers. Raping daughters. People that you ask to leave your farmland, they will kill you. Nigeria should pray for them. Only one Nigeria, one Nigerian people pray for Fulani headsmen. Why we wait for federal government or Osibanjo government to come crush us? You are waiting. They proscribe us a terrorist group, thinking that that will stop us from agitating for our freedom. But they failed. Let them continue lying. Let them continue covering what is happening in their country. Why full and hates me continue killing innocent souls? The leader of full and hates me said that no government can't arrest them. He was saying it, and Nigerian police officers were there opening their teeth. That they can't arrest them. And they were there opening their teeth. Hmm? All right. You push to continue fighting yourselves over one Nigeria. All of them, none of their children is in Nigeria. They are all outside. Subanjo uh, 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 children graduated from the University of uh, UK. Beware. But you people are in Nigeria. Common good primary school. You don't have. Their children are university outside. Why you people are in Nigeria fighting for one Nigeria? Why you people are there killing yourselves, fighting your fellow citizens? How many of their children have come out to condemn what is happening in Nigeria? How many of their children have come out to talk about the killings in Nigeria? No, because they are comfortable. Because they are not in Nigeria. What, what is happening in Nigeria is none of their business. They don't care about what is happening in Nigeria. They are in a developed country, a civilized country. Living good lives. But you people are in Nigeria killing yourselves for these greedy, corrupt politicians. They will pose with their children. They just graduated from University of UK, from Oxford, this one, that one. All of you are in Nigeria, killing yourselves over one Nigeria. I'm proud of my country. No matter what. Nobody said you shouldn't be proud of your country. But you should ask yourself some questions. All these politicians we are siding, all these politicians we are killing ourselves over. How many of their children have condemned what is happening in Nigeria? How many of their children are in Nigeria? No, they are all outside. Hmm? Ordinary electricity, you people don't have. But their children are in, uh, uh, outside, UK, US, Germany, other civilized countries where they enjoy 24-7 electricity, good road, good water, living in a very furnished apartment. Why you people live in Nigeria? Why you people are in Nigeria suffering? Ah, 
is a man of God. You push not inside man of God. You push not judge man of God. Touch not my knighted. I do my prophet no harm. Okay. Where is your where is his uh, children? Where are they? You push you continue. Hmm? What is our own? We are here. Surely we'll get our freedom. So that we'll no longer be threat to your unity. Hmm? Why are you people continue praying for Fulani hits me? Thank you, my people. God bless all of you. God bless our every little man's name they can. And he's the put him as with him before. And different families all over the world. And love us of freedom all over the world. Thank you, my people. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. Don't forget to like and don't forget to comment. Thank you, my people. God bless you.